Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. For those of you that uh, wish me well on my holidays and sent me well wishes and stuff uh, and allowed me and had patience to, to have some leave, it really, really means a lot um, that you guys are still here and were sending me such lovely messages, so thank you for that. If you would like to book a personal reading, I am back, I am open for business, I am taking readings once more, you can do so on the website address below. If you haven't got your retrograde survival kit, Mercury goes retrograde on the 31st of October, which is in your season, right? Right uh, as we get into, uh, you know, well, not even right as we get into, as we're already into, um, you know, Scorpio season, Mercury will be retrograde. So if you wanna get your copy for 19.99 versus 39.99, you can get it now before it goes up on the 31st. I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, my beautiful people, this week your message um, was a really interesting one. It's actually been uh, the lightest one of all of them. Um, the, the message is heavy, but the, the vision itself was actually really beautiful. Uh, and the words that I kept hearing over in my mind were growth. Uh, growth, sometimes growth is painful, right? And But the image that I got was kind of a little bit in contrast with that, because what I could see was this beautiful young maiden. Uh, she looked almost native, actually, and she had really 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 long hair and she was just combing it round the side and she you know what I got from that was the hair growth and it, she was saying like you know people see the beauty they see the, my, my beautiful hair what they don't see is the time the effort that went into growing it the the moments of frustration the uh, the weight that I'm carrying you know with all of this it, what she was trying to get across to me was that growth sometimes is painful sometimes people only see the end result right sometimes they only see the butterfly what they don't uh, what they don't realize is is everything that that caterpillar had to go through in order to become the butterfly. Growth is painful, sometimes in order to change, sometimes in order to transform like a Scorpio does. There is immense pain, there is uh, exquisite pain as some people call it. And you know, this is, uh, it's interesting because what I felt like this word was linked to was, uh, you know, when you had the word wound, uh, and I feel like this was a progression of that, and it's kind of like saying that your growth is imminent, it's happening now, every single day, and the, the beauty in that is that you understand it's happening, and it's kind of like, if anybody's looking at you at the moment and thinking, oh, well, you know, they've got it easy, or they always seem to come out on top, or they always seem to be okay, it's like, like shit, you really have no idea. The fact that a Scorpio is able to carry such heavy energy to transmute it in such a way is uh, phenomenal, but it's never an easy process. So the growth is happening, right? Even if other people can't necessarily see the beauty in you or around you or whatever, uh, they, they, you know, don't focus in on that. And if they are only seeing that, um, find some way of either making them aware or unburdening yourself from what other people see, right? Uh, just because other people don't see the difficult stuff has nothing to do with you, right? You know what you've been through, you know where you're coming from. So this week, your destiny card is the justice card, right? So lots of decisions to be made. For some of you, this is about speaking up. For others, it's about choosing who it is that you really want to align with, right? This is a week for you to really make a firm decision, actually, right? Of, of you know, Am I gonna make a point of showing people what this growth has cost me, or am I gonna stay silent with the silent dignity? And there's neither one of those paths is higher than the other. They're just different expressions of the same uh, external experience of the truth, right? This really feels for me like this week, you really are asking yourself, which road is going to be the best one for me to take? And this is what it comes down to. It's not about getting one up over anybody. It's, uh, but you know, it could be as well for some of you, you're making the decision to say to people, look, you know what? You think I'm sitting pretty, but actually here's what you don't know about my path. Here's what you don't know about the experiences that I've been through or that I've had. So your direction 
to give it some context, you've got the King of Cups, right? So interestingly enough, the King of Cups could be an archetype of self, right? So for uh, those, for you know, whether you're a male or a female, this can be an archetype of yourself because the King of Cups would usually be a water sign male. This is going to be a really long video, by the way, <laughs> um, right? And the King of Cups rules his emotions. He absolutely knows himself inside and out. He commands respect. He commands um he gets things done by utilizing his emotional energy he understands how to hold his emotion and how to direct it uh, consciously at what he wants he's the epitome of emotional intelligence and this week you're making your decisions based on that this week like a lot of people say like oh you know scorpios are impulsive and you know they're all about their passions and their desires but actually uh, when you see an enlightened scorpio at work uh, you know doing what they do when when they really apply their knowledge, that is a fucking force to be reckoned with. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing to see. And this week, you could really be tapping into that energy, but it's going to require you to almost take yourself out of it, right? To take the the emotional, you know, objectivity to say, look, okay, how can I best use this energy, right? How can I best uh, utilize this energy for myself and ultimately for my life? The fact that you've got the King of Cups as the um, as the direction card as well, opposite that uh, Destiny card. If something this week doesn't feel right to you, right? If, and I'm speaking to those of you, you've probably already made a specific decision. And this week you could kind of be saying to yourself, actually, do you know what? This doesn't feel right anymore. If that's the case, change your mind right the justice card is is about weighing things up and the whole thing about life the beauty of it is even when things have been signed or whatever you know unless of course they're legally binding and you know you're locked in for the next 10 years or whatever there is pretty much always an, a, a way out the universe always provides a loophole in some way shape or form and this week if you feel if you feel like you're going down a path or you've committed to something that you can no longer do that you can no longer really resonate with or doesn't feel right to you you have every right to change your mind right if you have grown growth is painful and sometimes that entails telling someone people an organization you know what thank you but no thank you this is no longer for me it doesn't anymore uh, resonate with who I am there is nothing wrong with that at all so let's have a look and see what the inside card is saying uh, the empress right look at that the empress is all things beautiful, all things bountiful. And it basically, the thing about the Empress, she lives life through her passions, right? She's, in, and she's, even though she represents Taurus, uh, this is about really saying to yourself, you know what, what is abundance to me? Uh, is it just about money? Is it about happiness? What does security mean? What does stability mean to me? Uh, and does this path that I've already chosen, that I might have already tread, does it really offer me that? Or does it just offer me the, um, and it's not about the illusion, but you could be asking yourself this week, does a certain path that I've already agreed to go down actually resonate with who I am and where I feel like my life is going? Um, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. And the Empress is basically saying, as you would nurture and nourish everyone else, do the same for yourself about the decisions that you take, right? It's okay, it's perfectly okay for you to say, you know what, I've changed my mind. Uh, and anybody that doesn't agree with that or, you know, can't get on board with it probably wasn't for you anyway. And that's across the board, whether it's uh, personal, professional, platonic, you know, all of the above. Right. Uh, with that said, I hope this has helped you in some way, shape or form. As always, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.